Hi everybody, Paul Soros Jr. here. Welcome to my video. This is a tutorial on how to install a custom Minecraft map on a server. I have been getting a lot of requests for this since I've been playing some custom maps with my kids over the past, oh, I don't know, four or five weeks or so. Um, the latest being Pirate's Cove with my daughter. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to put this on a server. And in fact, I have Pirate's Cove website up right here. And if you go ahead, I'll put a link to this actually in the description if you want to follow along. So um, first you have to get the map, obviously. And well, you have to have a server. So if you don't have that, um, I do have a tutorial on how to set up your own server. Uh, go ahead and head over there first if you don't have a server running because you're going to need one. Otherwise, this tutorial isn't going to make a lot of sense. So. <laughs> Hurry up over there. Come on back. I'll be waiting here for you. Good, you're back. Excellent. Let's get started. So now we need the map, now that you have a server up and running. So head over to the Pirate's Cove forum, or rather the minecraftforum.net and the Pirate's Cove thread, that is. And we're going to download, I'm going to download the medium difficulty. So just click on the link. Do not click this free download button. That's for an FLV player. It's an ad this is the one you want download now that goes to another page and if your download doesn't start right away you click that if you're using Internet Explorer and you have this protection on you've got to click that little gold bar and uh, there it is save the file to the computer note where it's going I'm going to download this to a downloads folder now this is actually on a physical server machine it's not on the machine I'm doing the recording. I'm actually connected through remote desktop, as you can see up top here. So I'm doing all this remotely. All right, now let's um, let's grab this. Now I have 7-Zip installed on my server. So what we need to do, actually, I don't think I have a server set up right now. Let me check. So, and guess what? I don't have one made up. So you know what? Let's go grab the server. Head over to minecraft.net and I'll show you guys how to get the server. Click on download, scroll all the way down, and you'll see right here Minecraft server or minecraftserver.jar. Um, easiest way to do this right now is just to grab Minecraft uh, minecraftserver.exe. So I'm going to do that. Download that. Click on folder so I can see more here and copy that over to a folder that I have ready for this tutorial. I'm going to paste that in. Now it looks like it stripped out the .exe so you might have to type that in if you don't see that little block there. So now I have Minecraft server running on the server computer and I'm going to go ahead and run it. And it creates a new map. You'll get this these errors right here which just means it hasn't been run before in this folder and depending on the speed of your machine it might take a couple of minutes so I'm gonna cut out and I'll be right back okay well I'm back the server is done the map is completely generated again this was a new brand new installation of the server and I'm just gonna shut it down for a minute type in stop and again this is not a tutorial for how to install the server. I'm just assuming that you already did that. So I'm going to go kind of fast here. Now I'm going to go to the server and right here under custom. Oh, I didn't put it in the wrong one. Uh -huh. Okay. So let's get rid of that folder. We don't need that. So I have it under Minecraft servers. And here's the world it generated, which it automatically by default names it world. So go to the folder where you have the Minecraft server. It generated all these files and I'm gonna to have to add myself to the whitelist and go to server properties now I'm gonna call this I'm just gonna call it pirate I'll call it pirate because this is the file that the server looks at when it opens up the world so you want this name to match the name of the world um, and you can modify the server port if you have to. Again, this is not a server installation tutorial. just want to show you what you have to do to get the custom map to work. And this is important. So type in the level name, save it, close that file, 
let's go back to the downloads folder and where's my download right here pirates cove and here's the folder for pirates cove and i'm just going to drag and drop that right in here we can delete this world we don't need it that's the one we just generated and now we need to rename this folder we open it up over here we need to rename this folder right here to match that of the one in the properties i just typed out which is pirate so again let's take a look make sure server properties yes pirate good name of the world is pirate fantastic now i can run i'm actually going to change that um, port number i don't use that port number i use that port number and like so and now i can shut all that down shut down winzip and start the server up and as you can see right here it should say prepare and level pirate and that's it on that port number and now I'm gonna go back to my other computer well this computer but off of the server and connect and I will be right back okay so now I'm running Minecraft on my computer here and I'm going to connect this is a local IP address so this is not gonna work for you at home if you try to connect to my server it's not gonna work 555 8 is the port number and connect and that's a local IP on my network and I'm in this is the Pirates Cove map and I've spawned on the rooftop and I can hop down oh. here and this is it right here these are the rules. Pirate's Cove, made by Matthew J. Voila. And that's pretty much it. So I'm going to go ahead and end right here, and then I'll do a quick recap. So hold on one sec. Let me just close this down. All right, so I'm back looking at the server, connected to the server here remotely. And it shows here in the console, server console, that I did indeed connect from that IP address, which is the local IP address of my machine. And it says I logged in, and then I disconnected. So we can go ahead and close that out. And hit over here, and well, I guess that's pretty much it. And that's how you get pirates to work or rather a custom map. So um, I hope that helps. And if you're still having trouble, if you need any more help, go ahead and leave a comment. And uh, if I have time, I'll drop in and try to help out. Again, time permitting, um, I don't always have the time, but I'll try. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this, guys, and I hope it helped, guys and gals. And um, go ahead and leave me a thumbs up if you don't mind, if it does help. And uh, I'll see you soon. Take care, bye-bye.